champion of the world, introducing the Filipino Flash, Nonito Bonaire. And his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, hailing from Paris, France. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 117 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 17 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in the third defense of his title, here is the current reigning and defending undefeated WBC Bantamweight champion of the world, introducing Nordine. And once again, a referee in charge, Jack Reese, now to give instructions. Take this off, please. Take it off. Right here, Nonito, Nonito, right here, facing me. Okay, right here. Mouthpiece, mouthpiece. All right, I got a lefty and a righty, so just watch your heads and your feet. Please listen and follow my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. At 38, in the twilight of his Hall of Fame career, can Donaire dance with destiny one more time? Or will Ubali get an assist from Father Time? It's time to find out. <laughs> the bell and round number one, the defending champion, Nordin Ubali, the southpaw black with gold trim, the challenger, Nonito Donaire, in blue with orange trim. You know, Ubali, if we know he's a very clever boxer, but he has knocked out six of his last eight opponents, so he's a guy that brings some power and pop in there as well. Yeah, and expect Ubali to be active in those early rounds. A difficult fighter, especially on the left hand side. You know, when you think about it, to have a Bantamweight champion at the age of 38 would previously have been almost incomprehensible. And here, Norito Donaire has a chance to, to make history. Yeah, we should point out that uh, if he were to win tonight, he would join the list of current champions that among the oldest uh, in the sport. So we'll see if he can achieve that and make that list time. Right hand to the body by Donaire. Obali avoiding the left hook and delivering a left to the body of his own. If you're Donaire, you will likely get some rounds up. You know, you want to figure out the opponent that you have in front of, in front of you. And I think Donaire is really smart of doing that. He wants to figure out the timing of this fighter. You mentioned it at the top of the telecast as Donaire gets backed up by the left hand of Ubali, but then does a good job of avoiding the other left hand. Leads with a right hand, but Abner, you know, at, at his age and after what transpired in Japan 18 months ago, you, you wonder if he left whatever he has left at the storied Saitama Super Arena, but countering here with a nice effective combination. But that was again 18 months ago when both of these fighters were last in the ring in Japan. He did talk about that. He did mention that he let his body heal. He feels good. He felt great in the gym. Feels powerful in this weight class. And again, you know, I can't say it enough. I think he should. He just as he's doing right now, take his time, figure out the opponent that he has in front of him. Dunair was very uh, adamant when we chatted with him about the fact that he feels like he understands, you know, he's fought three of the last seven fighters have been lefties. He said, but this camp, I feel like I really honed in on it. So nice check left hook to the body by the veteran Donair, four division champion. He's 11 and 1 at 118 pounds. His lone defeat coming in his last fight. That instant classic against the monster Naoya Inoue as we come to the end of round one of this bantamweight championship fight. Donaire. 
And again, that foot battle is going to be paramount. And how about this? Donaire averages 49 punches per round against righties and 39 against lefties. How many do you think he threw in that first round? 39. <laughs> exactly the amount he averages against lefties. And one thing that Donaire mentioned and s said, you know, which was really good, is that Bali is such a textbook fighter, and fighters like him are so easy to predict. And as a counterpuncher that Donaire is, I think he is just winning for the right time. You know what? Here he is. Two-decade career, 20th championship bout for Nonito Donaire. And a decade ago when he was a pound-for-pound pound stalwart with that patented left hook as Ubali coming forward. And nice counter left hook by Donaire. See, I kind of disagree with Nonito on that one. I think that Ubali's not quite as predictable because not, it's not just his movement. He throws different kinds of combinations as coming in. So we'll see. He may be right. He may land a huge counter punch. We'll see. Another counter right hand. Scores for Donaire, pumps out the jab. One thing that Ovali does, does right and wrong at the same time is he's such a great jabber, but he has a tendency of dropping that left hand. Yeah. That can cost him dearly if you know if he's catch with the left hook of Donito. Donaire yeah. split the guard and good defense as well. Body movement avoiding the left hand of Ubali. Yeah, we saw a famous counter left hook from Donaire, and there it is right there mm -hmm. against Victor Chinian wow. back in 2007. One of the all-timers. Yeah, and 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 Abner's 100% right. You left that lay left that right hand to hang out there, and boy, Donaire would make you pay. And of course, he made Naoya Inoue pay, gave him a broken yeah. orbital bone, broken nose, was knocked down, and again, full value to Naoya Inoue for the victory. But boy, it definitely. Summon the the inner warrior Nonito Donaire who again says that the layoff was good for him and yet we're going to have to wait and see just what transpires here again Donaire countering with the right hand and it continues to be Donaire effective with the counter guys yes this is the fight that Donito wants it's not too much of a fast paced right just at the rhythm he wants and eats So <laughs> most of us were fighting. Is, is fighting to find the range for his left. Yeah. He's got a very strong left, and he's done it in this round. And this is the time where Donaire has to use feints. He's got to feint a little bit to create traps uh, to, to, for him to be able to land the power shots. And you know, Donaire obviously here at 38 passed his physical prime, but he thinks he recaptured his peak technical form due to his return to 180. And we've seen glimpses of that again been very effective on the counterattack Although as mentioned by Al Bernstein who Bali is is coming up That was a great uppercut by the Bali. Oh, and he tagged Donaire and Donaire comes back with a right Yeah, you know Donaire is cranking those counter punches. Ubali's been doing a better job of attacking but oh, Donaire is ready with those counters every time. Oh and the right hand lands after he missed oh. with the left uppercut and the left hook by Donaire as Ubali backs up to the ropes, the veteran Donaire goes to the body with the right, right, left hook. And oh. Ubali is down! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to continue? Walk over there, come to me. No, Nito Donaire at 38 is just sending Ordain Ubali down for the first time in his career here in round three. Of course, Nonito Donaire, methodical, and again, tags Ubali with the left hand. The left hook has been Donaire's calling card throughout his illustrious career. What a round! Oh, and Mubali comes back and staggers Donaire, but what a round with the Filipino flash! Uh, 
The referee just gave him a second chance. Everything was going right. It's a little mistake. Breathe, breathe. Okay. Take your time. He's looking for the hard, the hard punch. Still working like he used to do. And breathe. Try to come back. Breathe deep. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's, good. He's, good. He's gonna be okay. Donair came courtesy of that left hook, a counter because no, uh, Ubali was trying to throw that uppercut. Remember, I told you he throws the uppercuts from too far out. He did it there, and then another left hook later in the round. Now I guess that punch came before the bell. I think that was after the bell. But I don't know. I mean, the ref is, is saying it came before the bell. Fourth round underway. Nonito Donaire sending Nordin Ubali to the canvas not once but twice. That was a great job by Jack Reese uh, on letting the goal of the fight continue as, you know, the round was pretty much over. Yeah, I well, saw him uh, again, the, the Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury fight, the dramatic knockdown in the 12th round. And here, he see him again giving Ubali a chance, and Ubali bouncing back pretty well so far here in the fourth. Remember, we talked about that uppercut from too far outside. That's exactly what Ubali did, and he was crunched with a counterpunch because of it. And he, he did stagger Donair for a moment or two before he got hit with that other left hook that knocked him down. Th there was a punch before yeah. that, uh, you know, I noticed that made Ubali, you know, step back, and then he got caught with the hook again and went down. Well, Donaire noticed something because he started yes, to he attack, did. and he usually doesn't do, do that. Again lands with the left hook, straight right, another left hook, another right, and in Nordino Donaire, tagging Nordino Bali, oh. and another left hook and a right hand. And you see him, Bali got that left hand in, but Donaire walked past that. This fight is still an interesting one. Oh. 